Now we're talking about the Excel interface and we talked about the application interface itself. The ribbon, the formula bar, the status bar, the quick access toolbar, giving yourself quick easy access to those favorite common commands. Now I want to move away from the application interface and get into what really makes up Excel. This is the workbook. This is really the second half of the Excel interface. Now looking at my screen, I've got a blank workbook open in front of you. This workbook contains a worksheet. You can see that I have a tab down there at the bottom called Sheet 1. A single workbook, and a workbook is really your main Excel document. It can contain up to 255 worksheets. This is huge. I've only got one right now. I can hit the little plus sign just to the right and this will add a second sheet or worksheet called Sheet 2. Remember, 255 of these things. Now this is your workbook and within the workbook you've got the worksheets. Each worksheet, I'm going to click back on Sheet 1 here, looks identical. It's got columns, A, B, C, D, and so on. Goes through the alphabet and beyond and it's got rows, one, two, three, four, and so on. It goes on forever. We're going to see how big this worksheet really is. But we've got these columns and rows. It's a big grid. And each cross section, these little rectangles on my screen here, represent what are called cells. They have an address, a location within this document based on the column and the row. So for example, right now, I'm currently inside of cell C9, column C, row 9. So we have this massive grid of cells, these little rectangles, where you're going to make up your data, you're going to input your data. Now let's see just how big a single, remember this is just one, you can have up to 255 of them inside of this workbook. Let's see how big a worksheet is. Now I'm going to click, just with my mouse, I'm going to click back up into A1. So I'm currently inside of row 1. I can see all the way down to row 23 currently on my screen. Let's see how big this single worksheet is. How many rows does it have? On my keyboard, I'm going to use a shortcut key here. I'm going to press my control key and my down arrow. Control down arrow. This will jump me all the way to the bottom of the worksheet. And you can see that I got quite a number of rows there. 1,048,576 rows within this single worksheet. That's huge. One worksheet. How many worksheets can you have? Multiply that. Huge amount. Now that's rows. How about columns? How many columns do we have here? Well, we started in an A. It's going to go to Z. We get to the end of the alphabet, and what's it going to do? Well, you know what? It just continues. It loops the alphabet again. So it'll go A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, da, 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 and so on. I'm going to do another shortcut key here. Control right arrow. And this will take me all the way to the last column there. X, F, D. Now I can't remember the exact number, but that's several columns in width. That is really making up this Excel worksheet. So I'm in over a million rows, several, several, several thousand columns all these little cells, these little rectangles, where I can input data. Now if you're ever lost in that sea of columns and rows and data, here's another shortcut key for you. Control and the home key. Right above my arrow keys, I got a home key. I'll press that and it'll take me right back up to cell A1. So this is your Excel workbook. Within the workbook, you got worksheets, up to 255 of these things. With all these rows and all these columns, this is your main document. Now we're going to talk about saving here in just a little bit. When you save this document, this Excel workbook with all these worksheets, you create what's called an Excel workbook, but it has an extension of .xlsx. So try this out for me. Jump into Excel, give yourself a blank workbook. Try clicking in a few cells there. Identify where you're at, whether you're in A1 or B20 or wherever. Try the shortcut keys. Control down arrow, right arrow, up arrow, left arrow. Just navigate around within the Excel workbook, the worksheets, and just become comfortable working inside of Excel.